Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Zach, owner of ZN Construction. I'm here with our client, Jennifer, and we just wanted to come and make a video about the start to us doing a major renovation for them and how it all came to be. Do you know the about. story of what happened? Did I tell you the story of what happened, actually? I personally don't. You always did great work, but never on this scale for me before. Right. The upstairs toilet was running. It was broken, okay. which I did not know. So at 7.30 one night, my seven-year-old clogged the toilet, then <laughs> went to bed. Two in the morning, I hear my three-year-old crying. So I get up and I go to check on him. Floor, the carpet upstairs is sopping wet. Not, what you, wanna, not what you want to find at three in the morning. No. <laughs> to the bathroom, the toilet is dripping. It's overflowing. I think. Right. Okay, I'll come downstairs. I'll get some towels to clean it up. Yeah, just mop it up real quick. Get him back to bed. Go back to bed. Yeah. I come downstairs and there was a waterfall <laughs> in my dining room and in my hallway. So I went downstairs to our finished basement and the ceiling More had fallen water. in. I'm sure that uh, did not make it possible to go back to sleep at this time. <laughs> no. Immediately next morning, called the water remediation company. For sure. Um, and then second call was to the insurance company. And third call was to you guys. I have to say, first of all, that you guys were great to work with because right away, Joe understood, you know, and I feel like everybody that I came into contact with that I was working with understood we have small kids. Right. This was a huge disruption in our life. For sure. And, you know, we didn't have ceilings. We didn't have walls. Like, it was just huge. Every effort I could tell was being made to kind of, again, work with the insurance company, work with us, work on, with our schedule to get it done. And then when the process finally began, it was it was uh, synchronized with, with our schedules. Right. Um, and our work schedules. So, you know... Anyone that I came across, anyone that I met, I didn't know everyone's names. I knew some of them, but they were always professional. They were always great, great attitude. Hey, come on in. Let me show you what I'm working on. Even when they were jackhammering and right. then I had a work call and it was like, well, stop jackhammering. I said, no, 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 do not stop jackhammering. <laughs> you keep doing your work. I will go outside and do my call. Obviously, it's a huge disruption having to move out of your house for the month and all of that type of thing. But would you say that all of it went smoothly or as much as possible incredibly smoothly incredibly smoothly and it was only a month for a huge huge section again three levels of our house right. i was so glad it was only a month and even my neighbors commented afterwards said your contractors were here every morning <laughs> in the morning they were here so early and i was so glad so i will tell you when we were staying at the hotel there were other families at the hotel who had been displaced for because, similar um, things yeah floods fires and they were having a horrible time uh, and i was so thankful for you guys just because they've been there for months like wow. four five six months living at a hotel that's something that is un so unfortunate about this industry is the lack of um i guess care is the right word in terms of like look like you guys this is your home you're you're here every single day you're not expecting to have an issue like this come up mm -hmm. and how can what can be done to make it as smooth of a process as possible to get you back in your home? We want to make a change for the contracting industry. We want to deliver excellent experiences for our clients and that sort of thing. And a big part of that is just making it easy. It's not easy to, to do, to manage a whole project and stuff, and it takes time, but how can we shrink that time as much as possible? Do you want to show us what we ended up doing? Yeah, so first of all, all of this floor, all this tile is brand new, beautiful ceramic tile, and it brightens up the entire hallway, so I love it. For sure. Love it. So this was all flooded. This was all flooded. This whole ceiling had to come out. That light is new. This whole wall had to come out. All this tile is new, and I love it. I'm so glad we have it. Um, it looks so nice. It looks so much better than the stuff that was there before. But the things we had there before, the tile wasn't bad. It, we probably wouldn't have replaced it. It just it's a perk. so much better. It's a perk it's of going through the, the issue. It's definitely a So perk. the water came down here and went all the way to the basement? It came down here. It's coming down here. There was a waterfall here. <laughs> and um, so these walls were out. The ceiling was out. It's so much brighter in here now. It's never something that you expect, and it's never something that you want to have to go over 
I mean, sometimes people will contact us for like, hey, we want to redo our kitchen, we want to redo our bathroom. And that's something that you want to have happen and you know it's going to be stressful and some, some sort of disruption because of it. But when it happens in the middle of the night, it's even worse because you weren't expecting it, hadn't planned for it, not something that's ideal at all. No, no. But um, it went as smoothly as it could and a large part of that was because of you guys. So thank you. I really appreciate thank that. Thank you so much.